Hello femboys and femgirls. Today I'm bringing you a very special episode of Geography Go, an episode years in the making. I'm going to be looking at all 193 UN recognized countries in the world, plus four others, and giving their flag scores based on how aesthetically pleasing they are. I'm going to be ignoring all the war crimes, like I'm a girl boss on Twitter, and focusing on how epically awesome the flag is to feast my eyes upon. Or just whatever I want, who gives a shit? This topic is incredibly boring, and looking back at this after writing the entire script, it needs a little pick-me-up, so I'm going to be including random opinions about food items to snap you out of your YouTube commentary-induced haze. We're going from A to Z, so let's go ahead and get started. Afghanistan. The right person could turn this flag into a war on Christmas rallying cry. It'd be stupid, but I bet you could get a few hicks to put together some QAnon chart about how mistletoe is actually Taliban aligned. 5 out of 10. Albania. Look at this funny bird. The red and black has a punch like a gruesome crime scene, but then it hits me with the funny two-headed pigeon. I love it. 8 out of 10. Algeria. The blood moon rises, but it's over a boring flag that sucks. The star being turned to the right is a nice touch, though. 3 out of 10. Andorra. This coat of arms is way too close to loss for me to safely rate this anything higher than a 4. Angola. I want to shake hands with whatever crazy man decided to make a cyberpunk hammer and sickle the flag of Angola. The gear and machete are so cool that I'm surprised it never caught on. 10 out of 10. Excellent flag. Antigua and Barbuda. Oh, oh, we have a nice little sunrise over the ocean here. How quaint. How cute. I'm sipping a nice, delicious margarita on the beach. Mmm. Yes. 9 out of 10. Argentina. When I was in a Mexican restaurant in Georgia, they had these suns plastered all over the place, and when I bit into my enchilada, it was so rancid I threw up on the spot. The blue and white is nice. 4 out of 10. Armenia. Just a nice little flag with some unique color bars. Nothing to see here. Keep walking, sir. 5 out of 10. Australia. Alright, if you're gonna have the Union Jack on your country's flag, eat shit, and if you're gonna directly copy New Zealand's flag, who had the design first, eat shit. Fuck you, Australia. 1 out of 10. Austria. Meat flag. 7 out of 10. Azerbaijan. The colors are nice and the moon is also nice. What's not to like, except the war crimes? 7 out of 10. Bahamas. Whoa, is that cyan? That's so cool. Are you single? Can I get into your pants right now? 6 out of 10. Diet Mountain Dew. I know a lot of people that think regular Mountain Dew tastes like piss, but I don't know a single person among them that's tried Diet Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew tastes like it should be a poison. It tastes like how people that hate Mountain Dew think Mountain Dew tastes. It tastes like the 5G waves penetrating my body at all hours of the day. 0 out of 10. Bahrain. This flag feels like it'd be super generic in an alternate universe where all flag designers lived in MC Escher houses. 5 out of 10. Bangladesh. The red dot being slightly off-center has kept me in a constant state of incalculable rage since I turned 17. Oh, but when it waves in the wind, it looks centered. Burn in hell, you contemptuous nan. Zero. Barbados. Motherfuckers put a trident on their flag. That's pretty sick. I mean, the color scheme seems straight out of a Pokemon game, but I dig it. 6 out of 10. Belarus. Someone let your grandma at one-tenth of this flag, and for that we have to burn the whole thing. 4 out of 10. Belgium. Is being sideways Germany a form of twinning? 3 out of 10. Belize. Ah yes, the fabled MS Paint flag. I've seen knee inflation on DeviantArt with higher production quality than this flag. 1 out of 10. Benin. It's alright, but it's just the Pan-African flag rearranged a bit. 5 out of 10. Bhutan. Yes, yes, this flag slaps. I would pay-per-view 50 bucks to watch the Thunder Dragon from the Bhutan flag throw down with the Welsh Dragon to see who gets to have the flag with the dragon on it. 10 out of 10. Bolivia. There are six Bolivian flags on the Bolivian flag. These flags presumably also contain six flags each, which contain another six flags. This flag is satanic, and I will not be answering any questions. 666 out of 10. Bosnia and Herzegovina. What? 2. Botswana. As a sucker for the light blue, this flag speaks to me. But it feels like it's directed by Wes Anderson, if that makes any sense. 6 out of 10. Brazil. The stars on the Brazilian flag are meant to be an illustration of the stars over Rio at 8.30 on November 15th, 1889, looked at by an observer an infinite distance away. The flag designer later recanted his statement to correct that time to 8.37 and a few seconds change. Why? Who cares? 6 out of 10, it's fine. Brunei. More like Bru- Why is this flag so weird? I kinda dig it. 7 out of 10. Bulgaria. It's alright, I guess? We'll find in the future that a lot of European flags are just three colors out of a sampling of like five arranged in a bar formation. Pretty lame. 4 out of 10. Burkina Faso. 
It's alright, but it's just the Pan-African flag rearranged a bit. 5 out of 10. Burundi, Scotland's evil twin. 6 out of 10. Cabo Verde. Mmm. IHOP flag. 8 out of 10. Cambodia, cool temple, blue, red, what more could you ask for? Solid flag, I'm proud of you, son. 7 out of 10. Cameroon, it's alright, but it's just the Pan-African flag rearranged a bit. 5 out of 10. Mayonnaise, on its own, this delightful treat makes a sandwich creamier, but paired with other condiments, it's a god among us. This is the mother's teat nurturing the food industry. 10 out of 10. Canada, the only flag on earth to be based off of a syrup. Pair it with the IHOP flag for a delicious breakfast. 7 out of 10. Central African Republic. What is this? Who made this? Did somebody leave this in my files? Is this a threat? This looks like the setup to one of those black and white and red all over jokes. But the punchline is me, for having to see it. 2 out of 10. Chad. No other country can get away with stealing another country's flag without any changes, but Chad can. Just for the balls required, 9 out of 10. Chile. The Chilean flag is dangerously close to the Texan flag. Not sure how Chileans feel about that, but I'm contractually obligated to give it a 7 out of 10 based off the resemblance alone. China. For such an economic powerhouse and global superpower as China, you'd think the flag would be a little bit more than just the USSR's flag, but worse, but here we are. 4 out of 10. Colombia. This flag is a receding hairline. 3 out of 10. Comoros. This flag goes out of its way to piss off the French colony of Mayotte, and I'm all for it. If you know, you know. 8 out of 10. Democratic Republic of the Congo. Reminds me of that Superman ice cream I used to get from the ice cream shop down the street from me. You know, the kind that's just vanilla and food coloring but tastes different to kid you for some reason? 8 out of 10. Republic of Congo. It's alright, but it's just the Pan-African flag rearranged a bit. 5 out of 10. Costa Rica. A blood river. This is what's gonna happen to Chick-fil-A in a few years. 6 out of 10. Côte d'Ivoire. The exact same as the Irish flag, but backwards. If somebody hangs the flag up the wrong way in Côte d'Ivoire, they hear bass-boosted river dance until they put it the right way. 3 out of 10. Croatia. The only flag on the list so far to have representation at Cracker Barrel. 5 out of 10. Cuba. The fact that there are no squares or cubes on this flag is deeply upsetting to me. 4 out of 10. Cyprus. Hey, Jim, we need a flag for our country. You got any designs? And then Jim, sweating, opens up paint and drops a PNG of Cyprus onto a white background. Jim is awarded $17 million for his design. 2 out of 10. Czechia. Eh, it's just triangles. Just some triangles. Nothing to see here. 4 out of 10. Denmark. It's just a cross. Not much flavor on this cross either. Just kind of a lame cross. 4 out of 10. Djibouti. Yes, these are the kind of triangles I want to see. Cool star, great colors, what is not to like? 7 out of 10. Dominica. Obviously I like the purple bird, but can we look at the rest of this flag's color scheme? Green on yellow on black on white on green? It's horrible. They're using that lovely bird as a crutch. 3 out of 10. Dominican Republic. No more heroes has ruined this flag for me. 5 out of 10. Ecuador. You can't hide your balding behind a coat of arms, Colombian flag. I see that forehead. 2 out of 10. Egypt. Very nice flag, very regal looking. You wouldn't think Egypt though. Here, let me fix it. There we go, 8 out of 10. El Salvador, very blue, extremely blue. I like the Illuminati eye in the middle, sends me right back to my days of watching MLG videos and being insufferable, 7 out of 10. Equatorial Guinea, wow, that tree is bad. The rest of this design is pretty good, but that free clip art no virus tree in the middle is just disgusting, 3 out of 10. Eritrea, this flag will slap your girl's ass and you won't be able to do a damn thing about it. It's powerful. 9 out of 10. Estonia. It may be the usual boring European three-line scheme, but Estonia's got enough colors that aren't usually on those flags to set it apart. Not much, though. 6 out of 10. That rotting shark dish from Iceland. I tried a little bite of this once when I went to Iceland and it just felt like a meat gummy bear. It didn't taste bad, it just felt wrong. 5 out of 10. Eswatini. This flag is like Kingdom Hearts. I don't know what it's supposed to be or what's going on here, but it looks cool. 8 out of 10. Ethiopia. Yes! This is how you do it. Ethiopia is the model student. Ethiopia is the kid your parents wish they had. It's so perfect in every way. 10 out of 10. Fiji. What's worse than an unchanged British colony flag? A British colony flag that's just a coat of arms. Shit. Garbage. 1 out of 10. Finland. I didn't realize how thick the Finnish cross was before now. That boy's wide, and for that, I'll bump it up to a 5 out of 10. France. I stand up at the open mic night and timidly grab the microphone. 
I point at the picture of the French flag, hands violently shaking in fear. M more like, more, more like when the when the French flag when the when when it's supposed to be the uh, the French flag the it is the white flag. Uh, three out of ten. Gabon. Visually, I appreciate this flag, but my soul knows that it's just another tricolor, and for that, I have to send it to the realm dimension. Five out of ten. Gambia. You know, most flags have some fucking stupid shit for their symbolism, like, oh, the blue represents the will of the people to fight against yada yada yada. No, the Gambia's flag is like, here's a river, because our country is a river. 7 out of 10. Georgia. Jesus, how many crosses do you need? 3 out of 10 for overindulgence. Germany. I mean, this German flag is an improvement, at least. 5 out of 10. Ghana. It's alright, but it's just the Pan-African flag rearranged a bit. 5 out of 10. Greece. Weird, wacky, zany, you love to see it. It's such an affront to graphic design that I can't not rank it high. 7 out of 10. Granada. Why is there a bug on this flag? Why is this flag perfectly symmetrical except for that one little blip on the left side? Hate it. 2 out of 10. Guatemala. Guns, birds, swords? Pretty cool flag. 8 out of 10. Guinea. <sighs> it's alright, but... It's just the Pan-African flag rearranged a bit. Guinea-Bissau. Oh fucking cum- Guyana. Triangles are back and pointier than ever. A bit too pointy if you ask me. Put some meat on your bones and come back. 4 out of 10. Haiti. The only flag on Earth made with one of those fake PNG websites. 1 out of 10. Honduras. It's got 5 stars on it, so I have to give it 5 stars, right? Wrong. You don't know me. 3. Hungary. Sideways Italy. 3 out of 10. Iceland. I may not be a fan of the Scandinavian crosses, but like this one, I'd open up. I'd let him in for a cup of tea. 7 out of 10. India. Very nice. I like the wheel. I like the colors. Just an all-around good flag. Not remarkable, but pretty alright. 6 out of 10. Indonesia. Carved meat flag. 6 out of 10. Iran. Oh, fancy. This is how you spice up a three-band. Love it. 8 out of 10. Iraq. God is great is what the Arabic text reads. Not very useful. I'd recommend Welcome to Iraq, or This is the Iraq Flag, or McDonald's or something. 4 out of 10. Ireland. Now, just because I ragged on Cote d'Ivoire for ripping this flag off doesn't mean I like it. I don't. 3 out of 10. Israel. <laughs> Italy. Sideways Hungary. 3 out of 10. Jamaica. Yellow on black is for bees and Wiz Khalifa and nobody else. 4 out of 10. Japan. Huge downgrade from when it had all those cool bands coming off of it. Now it looks like a domino. And I hate dominoes. 2 out of 10. Jordan. That tiny little star puts this over the edge for me. It takes about 12 artists to even attempt a 7 pointed star, but goddammit, they got a good one. 6 out of 10. Kazakhstan. I don't even have a joke here, this is just one of the best flag designs in the UN. 10 out of 10. Kenya, another banger from East Africa. This Kenyan flag is quite good, except the spears don't poke out the bottom of the shield as well as the top. This frustrates me. 9 out of 10. Kiribati, this is the flag that your girl tells you not to worry about. Is that meme dead? Who cares, this channel is for dumb nerds anyway. 9 out of 10. Kosovo, never going to be a fan of putting your country on its own flag, especially if it looks like a malformed chicken wing. 3 out of 10. Kuwait, disgusting. This flag is both generic and horrible because that trapezoid. It's just awful. 2 out of 10. Kyrgyzstan, alternate universe Xbox logo. 8 out of 10. Lao, oh god, these are all starting to blend together and we're not even halfway done. It, it's alright, nothing remarkable about it, but there's nothing wrong with it either. 5 out of 10. Rice, bread after a mental breakdown. 8 out of 10. Latvia. I already made the meat flag joke twice. Sorry, Latvia. I have to give you a 4 out of 10. Lebanon. Official flag of Christmas. It's got a tree. It's got white. It's got red, cause Santa. Christmas flag. 6 out of 10. Lesotho. This flag looks like a fan-made flag for some Pokemon region. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Let's give it a plus or minus 3 to 5 out of 10. Liberia. Liberia's flag exists only to continually juke morons who use it instead of the US flag on Facebook. That's it. That's the only reason why. 10 out of 10. Libya. A cool flag. The kind of flag that sells you cigarettes on TV. I have nothing but respect for it, but I also wouldn't want to walk down a dark alley with it at the end. 8 out of 10. 
Liechtenstein. It's fine. These are really all starting to blend together, Jesus Christ. 6 out of 10. Lithuania. Eh. 5 out of 10. Luxembourg. Eh. 4 out of 10. Madagascar. Props for having the most unappealing shade of red possible on your flag, but no props for anything else. 3 out of 10. Malawi. Another cool sunrise. I'm not sure how you would do a bad sunrise flag, to be honest, so take that as you will. 7 out of 10. Malaysia. The cooler US flag. 8 out of 10. Maldives. Is it a border when it's half of your flag? 4 out of 10. Mali. Alright, let me explain myself. I don't dislike the Pan-African flag. It's great. It symbolizes very good things. But holy shit, if you're gonna use the color scheme, do something with it. Like, fucking Malawi uses the Pan-African color scheme, and it's great. But like, 30 countries just use bars and maybe a single star if you're lucky. If you put a gun to my head and told me to tell you the difference between Mali and Guinea's flags, I would say shoot me. Malta. European. 4 out of 10. Marshall Islands. What a cool lad. It's like he's flying off into the sunset. Love this flag. 9 out of 10. Mauritania. The tilted moon takes this from a boring design to a cool dude. Looks intimidating. Like this flag's gonna take a lava lamp pencil sharpener to school. 7 out of 10. Mauritius. The bar is hurt. They're breaking into my skull. I mean, this one is unique because it has four? Sure. 5 out of 10. Mexico. Bird. 7 out of 10. Micronesia. Aesthetically, this flag slaps, but at this point you need to be more than just aesthetics. Your flag needs to give me a hand job to even be in the running for an 8 or above. 6 out of 10. Moldova. <coughs> Monaco. Exactly the same as Indonesia's flag. 1 out of 10. Mongolia. Well, the symbol's neat. Rest of the flag is fine, but that symbol is cool. 7 out of 10. Montenegro. Somewhat wants to be SPQR. I give it a pat on the head. I tell it that it can be anything if it really wants to. It can't. 4 out of 10. Morocco. An original star gets a gold star. At least for now. I'm watching you. 7 out of 10. Mozambique. Gun, 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 gun out of 10. Myanmar. Something about this star rubs me in all the wrong ways. It's no good. I'm not happy with it. I'm sad. Why'd you make me sad, Myanmar? 3 out of 10. Namibia. Sunrise flag. Yep, another good sunrise flag for the pile. 8 out of 10. Nauru. This doesn't at all fit the country of Nauru. A Nauruan flag that fit the country would be like a child being kicked down a flight of stairs. 2 out of 10. Nepal. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nepal. Nepal's flag is a little different, if you can tell, and personally, I'm all for it. I'm all about that originality. This is the flag of girls with purple hair and smite YouTubers worldwide. 8 out of 10. The Netherlands. More bars? Wow, I'm gonna need to hit a bar to, like, forget about all these bar flags. 3 out of 10. New Zealand. Just because Australia ripped this flag off doesn't mean it's good. Any flag with a Union Jack in the corner is made by devil worshippers. 3 out of 10. Nicaragua. Niger. Sucks. 2 out of 10. Grass. I used to eat this all the time back in 4th grade because I thought if I ate enough it'd turn me into an animal. It didn't. Still tastes alright though, like grass tastes better than arugula. 6 out of 10. Nigeria. Mint gum representation in flag form, hindered only by the fact that I don't know a single person that actually eats mint gum. 5 out of 10. North Korea. A very cool flag, and very fitting for North Korea. Like, could you imagine thousands of soldiers marching with Canadian flags every morning? No. 8 out of 10. North Macedonia. Small European country borrows Imperial Japanese flag. 7 out of 10. Norway. Iceland's flag, but degloved. 6 out of 10. Oman. Now, up close, that symbol is obviously a dagger and swords, but from far away, it looks like a Japanese character. Gonna have to find you for weeb shit. 5 out of 10. Pakistan. A nice, friendly flag. There is nothing wrong with this cheerful boy. This is the Carl Weezer of the flag world, and in my eyes, that's a win. 8 out of 10. Palau. Palau's circle is also off-center, like Bangladesh, but the colors are a bit more funny and cool, so I'll let it slide. 6 out of 10. Palestine. Panama. I bet there's like six different old people in Texas that have the Panama flag shirts thinking they're being super patriotic. 7 out of 10. Papua New Guinea. I like how every flag with a bird on it, I've just ignored everything and gone, wow, cool bird, and given it a high score. That being said, wow, cool bird, 9 out of 10. Paraguay. Eh, it doesn't speak to me. Nothing wrong with it, just nothing right about it either. It is. 5 out of 10. Peru. Flag of Evil Canada, 7 out of 10. The Philippines, flag of evil Czechia, 7 out of 10. Poland, flag of regular Indonesia, 1 out of 10. 
Portugal. That coat of arms looks real bad, and that color scheme does not help it. My heart goes out to the poor Chugis who have to live with such disappointment. 3 out of 10. Qatar. Purple. Kinda. 7 out of 10. Romania. Sorry Romania, you don't get a flag anymore. Chad took it. Not applicable. Russia. Russia is the biggest country on the planet and straddles nearly half the time zones on Earth. They have the most nuclear weapons out of any country on Earth. They're one of the world's major superpowers, and their flag is... What if France, but sideway? 2 out of 10. Rwanda. This flag is a nice boy. I want to stroke his cheek. 7 out of 10. St. Kitts and Navis. Spicy. A dangerous flag to go joyriding with. We'll be paralyzed from the neck down by 24, but until then, it's all highs. 8 out of 10. St. Lucia. The god emperor of the triangles. All bowed before his might. 7 out of 10. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Are those three diamonds, the Grenadines? If so, why are they green? Are they Grenadines? 6 out of 10. Samoa. A horrible alternate reality in which China was colonized by the bottom right half of Australia. 4 out of 10. San Marino. Who cares? 3 out of 10. Sao Tome and Principe. An I bleed flag, but one that I'm proud to call a friend of mine. He may have some bad fashion sense, but he's a good kid. 6 out of 10. Saudi Arabia. The simplicity makes me smile, but this also reminds me of one of those shitty fan-made movie posters that are just the name of the movie and something important from the movie in monochrome. 5 out of 10. Senegal. Serbia. Absolutely hate that the top of the shield perfectly lines up with the red band. Don't let your kids grow up without knowledge of artistic tangents. 2 out of 10. Seychelles. Whoa! 8 out of 10. Sierra Leone. Flag of toothpaste. 4 out of 10. Singapore. I want to make the moon with star design, but I'm special, so give me 5 stars, please. Fuck you. 5 out of 10. Slovakia. The little mountain at the bottom of the coat of arms reminds me of Brawl's stage editor size bigger. Don't know why, just does. 5 out of 10. Slovenia. The cooler Slovak flag. 6 out of 10. Solomon Islands. Just feels wrong to me. Something about this is off. Can I point it out? No. Do I care? Also no. 4 out of 10. Somalia. Vietnam's evil twin. Or Vietnam's good twin if you're still pissy about losing the Vietnam War. 6 out of 10. South Africa. If I were in 2007, I would say that this flag looks like unicorn vomit. I would also call myself the epic waffle bacon goat. 3 out of 10. South Korea. This flag is great until you realize that it's asymmetrical. Then it's the worst flag. It's so bad I still see it burned into my mind as I record this. 1 out of 10. South Sudan. South Africa's flag, but reasonable. 6 out of 10. Spain. Hey guys, have you ever heard the joke, the old joke that goes like, I'm in Spain, but the N is silent. 7 out of 10. Sri Lanka. Just plain dope. 9 out of 10. Sudan. Boring. 4 out of 10. A New York strip seared and brought to mid-rare in an oven with garlic and thyme in the pan, then slathered with a Brazilian chimichurri sauce and served with a side of scalloped potatoes in the salad with house dressing made by the cook's mom that even he doesn't know the recipe to. Yeah, I guess like a 7 out of 10. Suriname. Suriname is so fucking weird. It's a Dutch-speaking country in South America, and its flag looks like airhead strips. 7 out of 10. Sweden. Scandinavia has one flag, and they all have to share it. Sweden gets it on Thursdays. 5 out of 10. Switzerland. I find it funny how it's apparently a war crime to have the Red Cross as a health pickup in a video game, but Switzerland's just been vibing. 6 out of 10. Syria. What a classy flag. It may just be bars, but those stars add a little oomph to it. This is a flag I would take to the school dance, if I wasn't asocial and terrible. 8 out of 10. Taiwan. Flag of Homestar Runner. 8 out of 10. Tajikistan. I think all of the Stan countries have good flags. This one's the weakest so far, but like, still pretty solid. 7 out of 10. Tanzania. Very, very slightly asymmetrical. 0 out of 10. Kill it. Thailand. Costa Rica, but more basic. 5 out of 10. Timor-Leste. I like all of the flags that are meant to be hung from the top down. Those are cool. As such, this one is also cool. 8 out of 10. Togo. You thought I was going to complain about the Pan-African flag again, didn't you? Nah, this one is actually creative with it. In the same way Ted Bundy was creative with casts. This flag looks like honeydew and strawberry gum. 5 out of 10. Tonga. A horrible alternate reality in which China was colonized by reverse Switzerland. 4 out of 10. Trinidad and Tobago. What do you want me to say? We're nearing the end and this flag looks fine. I'm all out of jokes. Do you want another joke? Here's a joke then. Why couldn't the boy get into the pirate movie? It was rated R. 6 out of 10. Turkmenistan. Another Stan flag to Stan. 9 out of 10. Tuvalu. What if the Milky Way were colonized by Britain? It's not a world I would want to live in. 3 out of 10. Uganda. Why is there a chicken? 
Who put this chicken here? Is this the titular road? If so, where is the other side? Is Kenya the other side? This flag is confusing, 2 out of 10. Water, the other white meat, 10 out of 10. Ukraine, Sonichu flag, 11 out of 10. United Arab Emirates, what is with Arab League countries and having nearly identical flags? Lame, sucky, 3 out of 10. United Kingdom, what is this trash and why is it on like 40 other flags? 1 out of 10. United States of America, you could do worse, but you could do a lot better. Those stars are compensating for something. Why do you need 50? Why not like 7? 6 out of 10. Uruguay, the angry son from Mario, 5 out of 10. Uzbekistan, what do you want me to say? It's cool, I like it, 8 out of 10. Vanuatu, I'd fuck this flag behind a 7-Eleven, 10 out of 10. Vatican City, I'd pray with this flag behind a loves, 6 out of 10. Venezuela, flag of no iPhone, 7 out of 10. Vietnam, Somalia's evil twin, or Somalia's good twin if you're still pissy about Black Hawk Down, 6 out of 10. Yemen, you took the stars out and now it looks naked, good job, we're proud of you. Slash S, tone indicator, 3 out of 10. Zambia, what the fuck is this? Why does this flag look like the flag of passionate graphic designers, 1 out of 10. Zimbabwe, the final flag. I have no idea what that bird is supposed to be. I have no idea what this flag, in general, is supposed to be. But I'm satisfied with it. It makes me feel... content. 8 out of 10. Well, thanks for watching all that. I'm very sorry if your flag was rated badly, but also remember that if I said your flag was bad, it means you're objectively wrong for liking it, and your country will be targeted by a nuclear ICBM within the next 7 minutes. I'm also very sorry to the Brindaniel YouTube conglomerate that I stole this video idea from. He's very funny, and you should check him out if you have the time. That's all for me. Good night, everybody.